cameras rolling. Today, a look at this Tesla Model 3 2020 model with standard range plus and no full self-driving. But what's new here is the version of software that has visualizations over here, stop signs, stop lights, and more, which you'll soon see as I hit the road. This is VIN number 612,000 something something and version of software 2019.40.50.1 that came out December 24th, 2019. Today is December 26th, 2019. And I had this great opportunity where I happen to have this car. The lighting is pretty even. It's daylight. There's no rain. The windshield's clear. So I figured, hey, a great opportunity to record this 4K video to capture the new visualizations here for you as I drive around town. Uh, let's get started. Now, cars in drive. Got the AC off so you can hear everything. And we'll get going. Now, the navigation view here. I can zoom in a bit for you. There we go. We'll just drive around town here. So, this will give you a good view of lanes and how many lanes of traffic there are and all that. And what you'll want to pay attention to is the lane, the paint markings there. So I've got a good camera angle that shows the road, shows the sky here where you'll be able to see traffic lights. And we've got garbage cans. It's garbage day. Perfect timing. And you'll see it's rendering them on screen. Kind of crazy, right? Three garbage cans off to the right, one of them askew. It handles all of that. <laughs> so garbage can detection, excellent. But more interesting is the stoplight coming up and it's red. So we'll see the stoplight rendered, a stop line showing where we should pull our car up to. Um, and then finally, oh, adaptive cruise control is starting to slow down already. A light just turned green. So this one we weren't close enough to, but you'll see it shortly and it's green. All right. So what I want to capture on camera now is a light changing from red to green to green to red, changing status. You'll even see yellow. So this light may turn red on us, it might not, but we have multiple lanes here, so we should see a left turn lane rendered, complete with arrows, and there it is. Pretty amazing, right? And this is just a preview. The car is not driving, I am. Just wanna point that out. So this car does not have full self-driving. Uh, this is not our long road trip car, um, but it'll still do braking, acceleration, and lane keeping on a larger road, like the highway. That's what it's um, intended for at this time. Full, uh, the other features are not intended for use around town. But the reason this car is rendering all this is because it has the new hardware 3.0 computer behind the glove box there. This car is a week old, 2020 model. All right, multiple lanes here. We've got a red light. You can see it rendered in red. Might be a little more obvious at night. But you can see it. And now let's watch. The eh, person behind me might beep because they're going to want me to go right on red. Darn. So we didn't capture that light turning green. We'll have to try again. More traffic lights coming up. I'm heading to a larger road here. Okay, we're coming up on a light. This traffic light is green. Got my blinker on. And that light is staying green. It's rendered accurately. There's two of them. Negotiate the turn. All right. Now hopefully we'll get a light changing color on us on camera. Multiple lanes in the left turn lane. And we got a light turning yellow and red. That was awesome. It's exactly what I was trying to capture on camera. Um, and then a stop line. You can see um, I've stopped short at the stop line. Looks kind of like my wheels might be on the paint, but I don't think they are. I think I'm right at the stop line. Um, that'll be fun for me to look at on uh, replay and check out how that went. Now, it's rendering... Whoa. Interesting. Okay, so you see the arrows and the paint. That's accurate. The lights seem like this one's too far back. They're only set back from each other a little bit, but it's ignoring this one, the status of it, because I'm in this lane, the left turn lane, right? So that's all working quite nicely. You'll want to watch this video on 4K mode if your monitor is capable of it, at least full screen anyway, because again, the detail, the visualizations here is what I find interesting. And when I looked around YouTube uh, last night, saw very little because most people that are YouTubing about their cars have the hardware version 2.5 computer. We're waiting to first quarter of 2020 to get that installed. And in my case, I actually already uh, purchased that 
just waiting on the availability for a service visit to swap that out. I don't know if it's going to show this pedestrian here. They're not particularly relevant because they're not in the crosswalk and they're not very near me, so it didn't bother to render her. A little surprised though. Um, but if she did walk closer to my front bumper, I believe it would have rendered that pedestrian. Okay, green arrow did not show. So I guess that was a failure. Um, yep, beta preview, it's all those words. <laughs> so this is not pretending to be fully ready yet or uh, fully functioning yet. This is the very 1.0 release for the, heart, the visualizations to show up on everyone's newer uh, Tesla that's built in the last uh, seven, eight months or so. Okay, I'm in a left turn situation here, green light, and I proceed. So I don't know what's up with left arrows, if that was just a one-off, or maybe it doesn't do arrow signals yet. Here we go. Got my left blinker on, getting into the left turn lane. It's rendered properly, I believe. I'll look at the footage later. And unfortunately, there's no left green arrow at this particular intersection, at this time of day anyway. A little surprising given the configuration of lights, but that's just how it is. It looks like it's having a little trouble with uh, the 3D aspect of it or the relative position of those two lights. It does not look accurate to me. Looks like I'm having some challenges finding a left green arrow to be rendered on screen. This looks like the perfect situation. And it just shows as green, I believe. I'll need to look at that later. So I think it ignores whether it's an arrow or not, but I think it even missed that it turned yellow. Again, I'll have to review the footage. And here I've got some extra street signs besides just the stop sign. Some yellow warnings. Let's see if it renders those. The answer appears to be no. That red light turned green and then the color stopped. Here's the left arrow turning yellow and it just renders it as a yellow circle. So that appears to answer the question. It doesn't render arrows at all at this time. Okay, here's a right green arrow. It's probably going to be rendered as what? Got red and green going on in the same light. I don't know. Green it showed. So that was interesting. So, these almost appear more faint. There, they turn green. So, two green arrows. So, now we know it doesn't render arrows at all. It just does them in colors. And I think they're yellow, but a little hard to see there. Really have to zoom in. Sorry, I messed up the uh, footage there by zooming in like I did. But, yeah, it was a pretty good situation. Four lights. Had no problem with that. Rendered them beautifully. Kind of interesting how it keeps the on-screen visualization going even as they pass over your car. Here we've got some arrows painted on the right. Oh wow, it ca captured those as they lose their lane. That was pretty cool. Okay, it's part two of my driving around with the new visualizations on the latest software. Today, December 26, 2019. Coming to a stop in the steep downhill here. You'll see the arrows pointing correctly. These point to like a 45 degree. Pretty cool. I think at night we might have a better time with the visualization. Hopefully, we'll be able to see the colors a little more clearly on this display in my daytime footage. Very bumpy road, forgive that. All right, now we're on the smoother highway. So this should be a nice straightforward drive. And, uh, what do you know, there's no one behind me here. Let's get in the spot. Okay, so we've got yellow, that is wrong, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's having trouble, it's going from yellow to red, so hopefully you see that uh, nuanced color there, 
in your screen. They turned turn green accurately though. So that was a little weird. Maybe in the daytime footage, uh, that kind of thing was happening, but I just couldn't see it, right? Car's gonna slow down now, because of traffic aware cruise control. My right foot's actually doing nothing. Okay, the visualizations look good and accurate. Three lights, showing green. Another intersection with a bunch of lights. Okay, there's a difference between the red here and the red here. I think it is trying to render a red arrow. And then sometimes it's turning to a solid red circle. So, boy, that's pretty fine grain detail there. Um, difficult to see, for sure. So I might want to think of a different camera vantage point and get even closer with this 4K GoPro Hero 8. I don't know. It's claiming this light has turned green. So that's the uh, traffic for the other direction. So not so perfect. A little too sensitive at night, right? Uh, wow. Okay, and it detected that light went yellow. And we went green for us. So that was a little, uh, little weird, but that's why I'm doing this. Boy, it's really a pretty low contrast image, right? Maybe they did this preview in a very light red and light green on purpose um, yeah it's difficult to see even at night in daytime it's even tougher okay we have a nice red light situation here should be able to see it turn green it's thinking one of them turned yellow briefly and went back to red so it's all a little weird okay the left traffic light disappeared but green did happen quickly. And the left traffic light did come back. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And don't forget to also visit tinkertry.com where I have many articles all about Tesla.